What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of This Week in Webflow, a show where we talk about everything that's going on in the world of visual software development. Okay, so first things first, we have a new home. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this later in the show, but if you want to head over to stateofflow.io, you can see everything we're going to be talking about on the show here today. Like I mentioned, got together last week with Colleen, Pat, Melissa, Josh Lowe, Maria, and we went through everything that went down at Webflow Comp. Go ahead and check that out. That's on the State of Flow YouTube channel. In case you missed it, Edgar Allen hosted a bunch of watch parties for the Webflow Conference. So super cool, go give them a subscribe. Speaking of Webflow Conf, Corey Moen released some details about how they made those little pixelated designs. Anyone dig the interactive artifacts on the Webflow Conf site? A quick behind the scenes on them below, plus the code that makes them run for you. Uh, Corey also showed up at as part of the flow party with Andrew Bass. This was really cool. They talked about how they um, kind of optimized images, their design process. They got into the weeds on so much stuff here. Uh, definitely go check that out. Flow parties doing great things every Friday. They got these cool hangouts. Folks at TalkFlow, Shais and Vimalan um, dropped a video. It's interesting to hear their take. I had not seen this video until now, uh, but they had some bones to pick with uh, the way that some of the awards were set up, the way the conference kind of played out, and just some general things in the Webflow community that I thought were interesting as it relates to how the showcase is working. I'm not sure whether I agree with everything they say. I think it's very difficult um, for Webflow to be all things to all people, but just an interesting take. Follow them on YouTube. The TalkFlow uh, folks always got an interesting perspective, whether you agree or not, this is the kind of stuff we like to see in the space because it means it's growing. Aaron Grieve shared that, hello Webflow fam, they're looking for some private beta testers. They're bringing natural language JS AI to Webflow. I'm not sure how that works. You can take a look at that on Twitter. The link will be in the description. Doom Doom Arts, Doom, Doom Arts. I'm not sure how you say his name, but his websites are super dope. After six intense months designing, building, and learning in Webflow, I'm happy to announce my two-in-one portfolio website is up. So lots of good looks here. This is the kind of stuff you're gonna see a lot of as people come into the space. Nice little interactions here, beautiful little on hover stuff, very nice. Connor Thinlayson is asking whether or not it's worth upgrading to MemberStack 2.0 from MemberStack 1.0. Uh, so in this video, he kind of walks you through that process. He also dropped another video about syncing whale sync between Airtable and Webflow. Met the whale sync folks out at the Webflow comp in San Francisco, and it was great to meet them. So it's cool to see uh, Connor running through how this works. So you can go take a look. If you're not subscribed to Connor's channel, for sure do that. If you don't know Urosh from Flow Ninjas, Hit the play button on this. Urosh is dropping some knowledge about, is it a good idea to start Webflow in 2023? Interesting to see his perspective as somebody who's grown a successful agency over the last couple years in the space. Timothy Ricks is dropping the heat again. Another tutorial on how to do a lot of these cool little fade in letter animations, heading animations that you might see on trending websites. So he's got a clonable here. As always, he's got a YouTube tutorial. Um, and then I think you can dive deeper on his Patreon. He is more active on Twitter just recently. And so that's something you might wanna pay attention to. Okay, Max Joles is dropping some knowledge here. Add this code to the Webflow designer during development or testing and you'll never miss an empty link. Basically adds a three pixel solid yellow border um, or whatever style you want if you edit that. Um, he's also playing with some other stuff, unnamed divs, so, uh, and then image without alt text. So just little handy indicators that you might use on your website if you're building something and you want to make sure you're doing some good quality assurance. There's a bunch of events coming up. We are starting something new called the weekly flow that is going to be a live call-in show for the webflow community every tuesday at 12 p.m eastern but we're going to keep testing it over the next few weeks as we go into the new year we expect to do a lot of things like this anyway uh that's all we got for you today check us out at stateofflow.io we got this beautiful new dashboard for you so if you're building something if you've got a community if you're doing something cool inside of the world of webflow reach out on twitter uh, there's a lot of stuff coming behind this initiative and we're excited to bring you all behind the scenes Anyway, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye.